Hi folks, welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today we're going to do a little spotlight on a indie game called Stealth Bastard Deluxe that is currently available on Steam. It is a stealth platform puzzle game. Got some kind of retro 16-bit graphics. They're very pretty, very well done. Uh, this game is just a ridiculous amount of fun. I've been playing it for on and off for about a week now. Uh, I've had other games going on, you know, Bioshock Infinite just came out. But I've been kind of playing this here and there. And I'm it's, it's kind of casual, the levels are very short, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, you've got eight main stages, each stage has eight levels within. I'm going to go ahead and jump to one of them. Each time you beat one level, uh, you unlock a different suit. So, like, you've got the... You, got, you start with nothing. Camo suit lets you turn invisible. Decoy lets you, obviously, set a decoy to distract cameras and lasers and stuff. I uh, haven't figured out what to do with the Sonic decoy. I haven't run into anything Sonic yet. And anti-light lets you create shadow. For demonstration, we're just going to start with none. Alright, start the test. Now you see that camera there. And it's the lockdown. Okay. So let's get out. When your goggles turn green, it means you're in the clear. Means nothing can see you. Uh, when they're yellow, that means things will eventually be able to see you, but it might take them a few seconds. So if you're running through something, or if you're just waiting for timing, you'll be okay. But don't sit there too long. I do like how the game gives you pointers, uh, hints, insults, support, all that with words on the background. You'll see what I mean as we go through. Okay, so we got a room here with a camera. Now, I am not visible now. Now I'm partially visible. Now, that camera won't see me quite yet. Let's see what it does. Oh, now it sees me. We're invisible while in shadow, and that ceiling is coming down fast. Shadows. Now we're getting a little complicated here. We got moving blocks that are causing rotating shadows. Okay. So we run with the shadows. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't. Zot. And I'm dead. The game is very similar uh, as far as respawning to Super Meat Boy. Uh, you die instantly, you respawn instantly. There is no downtime, there's no reloading. And that is, I think, partially because the game gets brutally hard. Like, this one's pretty damn easy. This is level one, stage three. It wasn't so hard, now was it? Now, that camera can still see me, and if it does, that door is going to be blocked. So we're going to come up here with the rotating shadow. I'm going to jump into this shadow. Ta-da! We're done. And I got a rank B. Why? Because... I died too many times, uh, and I was seven minutes over target. Okay. Oh, and I got spotted four times when the target was three. Fair enough. So, let's see. I was ranked 4,089th in the world. So, all right, I kind of sucked, but I did that on purpose. All right, we're going to show you now something a little harder. Now, this one I have already played, so I know all the solutions, but this one took me almost an hour to figure out how to do everything here. Now I can run through in about two minutes. All right, see these blue lasers? They are sensors. They turn things on or off. So we're gonna squat down here. Let's see what this little laser here does. It turns on another laser and pushes the wall out. Well, there's some space right there. Let's see, yep, all right. Turn this computer on. all kinds of lasers here now. Let's see that one. And this one. Yeah, that's gonna block me from that computer. But I can sneak over here. My computer is gonna turn that laser off. Or not. Did I not stay on it long enough? There we go. So I've got to jump. This one's kind of a bitch, although I can't fault your persistence, it says. Only your, just your ability. It's almost like GLaDOS in text form. Alright, so this is just an annoying little jumpy puzzle. 
jump over the Mr. Spiky thing. Now one would think, hey, you're close to the edge, hit the switch, and up. Oh. Well, crap. So we need to ride this all the way out. Peace out. Hmm. I got a laser ahead that if I jump into, will kill me. Which means I can't make that jump from here. But, look at these oh so cleverly highlighted ledges and boing. Awesome. This is where it gets tricky. Oh. Yeah, we want that all the way down. Stay in the laser. Sometimes you want to stay in the laser, sometimes you want to stay out of the laser. Here. And this little block is going to block the path of the beam. What does this one do? Oh. Okay, yeah, we're going to duck through that. But I need to get up to that ledge. Okay. Okay. Oh. Aha. I love that I'm acting like I don't know what I'm doing, even though I've beaten this level 50 billion times. Um, for some reason, my recording software didn't like this game at all. So I'm having to play it in like a windowed mode. So yeah, I memorized this level. <laughs> And we're done. So now you've seen levels that I don't know. I'm gonna take a risk and show you a level that I don't, uh, one that I've never played. This video could end up being really long and really frustrating.
see that there's an elevator over there. There's a lot of puzzles. It, it can get very, very tricky. Um, it's very fun. And we're done. So yeah, once again, this game is Stealth Bastard Deluxe. It is available on Steam right now. I believe it is $14.99. Maybe it's $9.99. Um, I'm not going to alt-tab out and check, but I, I think it's $9.99. Uh, there is a DLC pack for it that is based entirely around transporters. Uh, you can throw a little device and teleport to wherever it lands. I uh, haven't gotten a chance to play with that yet, but it seems like fun. So yeah, go ahead and check this game out. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there are... I'll show you something here. Get out of that. Okay, great. Right. Awesome. Hey, a rank B on my first time? I am. I'll, I'll take it. Um, like I said, eight stages, eight levels. So there's 64 stages as it is. There's actually more than that. Uh, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, there's an S logo and a DNA Helix logo. Those are special unlockable levels. Then, once you're done with those, you've got community levels and a level editor. So once you beat the game, there is still infinite game to play. Uh, only criticism I have of this game, the options are really scant. Um, yeah, you can do the keyboard and controller, it's fine. Um, you can't change the volume. Uh, you can only turn the music and sound effects on or off. Um, video mode, you can't adjust. Uh, you're the size you're, you can do windowed, but it's either tiny, a little bit bigger than tiny, or full screen. Uh, I don't recommend V-Sync. I have a very good gaming computer, and V-Sync slows this game down to a crawl. Um, that's about it. I don't know. They're just kind of scams. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to go ahead and check out our Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is links and trailers and whatever I find on the internet that's really awesome and gaming related, I will throw up there. Um, I also have lots of galleries of funny pictures based on you know video game humor, uh, cool screenshots, glitches, all kinds of neat stuff. And then there's the Twitter. The Twitter is where I just random musings about video games. Sometimes when I'm playing something, I'll kind of live tweet it like I did with uh, a little bit with Bioshock Infinite. Uh, also, on Twitter, once in a while, I will do a... Oops. I will do a contest. And right now we have until... Let's see, today is the 29th. Friday the 29th, March. Um, going on through Sunday, March 31st, 2013. We have a contest. Tweet me. You know, you have to be subscribed. You have to be following. Um, tweet me your favorite video game villain and why, and you will be entered to win a free copy of XCOM Enemy Unknown for PC. And what else? Oh, we got the blog. Yeah, crankyoldgamer.blogspot.com. It is reviews. I do a review every single Monday. Sometimes I do more throughout the week. 
Uh, Wednesdays are cross media reviews, which are I will review things like comic books, uh, novels, or movies based on video games. And also, I do like editorials. Uh, those usually land on Thursdays. Just something, an observation I have, whatever. Um, some kind of how I feel about certain news. What uh, Thursdays are kind of a whatever I feel like day. But go ahead and check all those out. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're doing really well. I really appreciate the feedback from everybody. You guys are awesome. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. This is the Cranky Old Gamer, signing off.